Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Stamp It Up with Jamie. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I appreciate it. If you're catching this on YouTube, um, this is my Wednesday night live tutorial that I do. Uh, below, you'll find a link to my blog as well as a link to my um, store. So please check those out. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I see Karen's on. Let me just get my computer up here and running so I can see comments. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Hi, Karen. Good evening. There we go. Okay. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Kim. How's everyone tonight? How is everyone? Oh, hi. <laughs> you like the card? Thank you. Hi, Lori. Good evening. Thanks, everyone, for coming and checking out, being with me tonight and spending some time together. Appreciate it. Hi, Amy. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, Terry. Good evening. Okay, so confession time. Okay, ready? I'm going to keep it really real tonight. I walked in my door <laughs> 10 minutes ago. So normally I'm super prepared and I have everything cut and ready to go. And, um, you know, we'll see. <laughs> so uh, if I don't have every... Hi, Sharon. If I don't have everything completely cut and ready to go, that's why. Um, to be completely honest... I went to get my nails done and <laughs> they were running really behind. So note to self, don't get your nails done uh, an hour before you're set to go live. <laughs> oh, thank you, Terry. Good evening. So I created tonight's card um, because I had someone um, comment to me about the similar shades of the Stampin' Blends markers. Hi, Karen, good evening from Arizona. And um, so what I wanted to kind of walk you through tonight was how to use Stampin' Blends markers when you wanna use multiple colors that are a similar shade. For example, tonight, this is where, <laughs> my I don't have all my things ready. Tonight we're gonna use Petal Pink. And where's the other one to this? Here we go, Flirty Flamingo and lovely lipstick for the pink also my flowers here use all of those colors and then my uh, leaves here use soft sea foam and where is it granny apple is this granny apple green yes granny apple green okay so sometimes it happens glad to be in time <laughs> Whew, i cut it a little close hi lisa good evening hi karen um, so I just want to kind of point out that um, I know like when I first got my Stampin' Blends, when I wanted to color something in, I would pick like a color, like I would pick um, Flirty Flamingo, for example, and I would just use these colors when coloring like in a flower or whatever the image was. And I would only, and you can get different variations of uh, hues and um, different gradients within these two markers. Um, but then I started stepping out and kind of, as long as I was keeping within like a family, um, in this case, like a pink family or a green family, you can really kind of mix all of the shades. So even though they're not the exact same color, you can definitely still use them and blend them together. And it, <laughs> nice rainbow of colors. I know, isn't it so pretty? It makes me so happy to see it's like all the soldiers lined up for war, right? Ready to go to action. Um, so you can really, um, even though colors are similar and even though um, they may be like a shade off from one another, uh, feel free to kind of explore and to try new things and mixing the colors. This is another card I made. This was the one I was going to make. Um, this uses all kinds of yellows. This is, uses uh, Pineapple Punch, Daffodil Delight, and Mango Melody. And then my leaves here actually use, what did I use? Granny Apple Green, Old Olive and a hint of crumb cake. So um, let me get my pointer here. So like down here and up here and like just the uh, tips of the leaves, I actually used crumb cake. It just adds kind of an earthy tone to the car, uh, which I like. Um, so let's just dive in. This is where I was really trying to get this prepped ahead of time, like literally two minutes ago. And um, I just, it wasn't working. So I'm gonna do this. I wanted to have this all stamped for you ahead of time, but that didn't happen. So my Memento um, black ink is, it seems to be a little bit on the dry side and um, I didn't have time to re-ink it. So I'm actually just gonna use my Stamparatus here. Um, 
to stamp it multiple times. Um, so it's another, I guess I haven't really showed that perk of the stamp apparatus yet, but another perk is that um, if you stamp an item and sometimes you just don't get that super crisp look, right? Like maybe, um, I don't know, it's just not like super dark or defined. Uh, the stamp apparatus allows you to go over that image multiple times so you can get that nice crisp look. So let me grab my memento. Where is it? Here we go. It just desperately needs to be re-inked and I, I just didn't do it. I have to go get my re-inker and, and do it, but I figured the Stamparatus would do for tonight. So there's one. See how faded that is? Can you tell? Probably not. So that's twice. Two times might do it. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm going to do it more time, like right in there. It's not quite, down here is beautiful, but right in there it's a little dark still. And let's give that a go again. Yep, that'll work. I kept doing it earlier and I was, um, because I was rushing, <laughs> I kept shifting the paper and I was getting like, um, like a highlight. <laughs> not the look I was going for. Thanks, Linda, for sharing. I so appreciate it. Good evening, good evening. Oh, you know what? I was going to get a box. Um, do I have a box around here? Uh, okay, hold on. I'm going to go get a box. <laughs> see? Okay. If I use a box underneath, it props it up so you guys can see what I'm doing a lot. Oops, 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 oops. I taped it down. Is that in your face? There we go. So you can see a lot closer as I go about this. Okay. So... I'm going to first start off, so my tip when mixing multiple colors using the Stampin' Blends markers is to work, hi mom, uh, is to work lightest to darkest. So within each color, for example, petal pink, we have a light petal pink and we have a dark petal pink. And that goes for the same for um, Fleur de Flamingo and Lovely Lipstick, the other colors we're going to be using tonight. First, I'm going to start with the light petal pink. And our Stampin' Blends markers have two ends, more of like a fine tip end and then what I would call a brush end. I'm going to be working with the brush. And let me get my light in here. Okay. So um, when you're coloring, just keep in mind that there will be natural highlights and lowlights to an image. Um, I'm not an expert, <laughs> but I kind of figure like right here, like your tips, like, you know, like the highest point of your flower, in this case a flower, would be your lightest area. Okay. And then I'm going to take my dark petal pink <laughs> and kind of go around it, that other line I just put. And right now I'm not really worried about blending the colors together. I'm just kind of, um, you can use little circles if you want, so there's not a, like a sharp line, um, but that doesn't really bother me, okay? Can you see that? I know petal pink is so, so um, <laughs> light, it's a little hard to see. Um, next, I'm going to come in with the light flirty flamingo, again, the br uh, brush end of it, and I'm going to go just around... Uh, where I just put the dark petal pink. Again, I'm not worrying about blending my colors. I just kind of want to get the color on there first. And I'm kind of thinking now I'm going to hit those darker spots. Um, all the way around. Okay. Actually, I think I'm going to go a little lower this guy. Okay. Then I'm going to take my dark flirty flamingo. I'm just building the color. Um, I've been watching on Instagram lately, um, it's so funny, um, like makeup, women putting on makeup. I don't know how, it just keeps coming up in my feed and I'm like, okay, I'll watch you put makeup on. And, um, if you ever watch someone like a professional a makeup artist or whatever, um, put makeup on, they really do like build the color and that's what we're doing. We're just kind of putting color on top of color. So I'm going to stop there for a second. And next, I'm going to come in with my uh, lightest shade of color, which is that petal pink, light petal pink. And I'm going to go over all that color I just put down. Kind of forcing the colors to sort of marry together. 
become friends and um, kind of force them to blend. Kind of pushing the color into each other. Okay, oops. And then I'm gonna come with my light Fleur de Flamingo and kind of do the same thing. Again, except for like that spot, that initial spot where I hit the petal pink, like the very lightest spot on the card, I'm gonna leave that kind of alone. And I'm being kind of rough. I'm not overthinking this at all, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> I'm not, <clears throat> you know, being too, especially this, because this, the point of what I'm doing right now is just forcing the colors to blend together. Okay. Next, I'm going to come with the light, lovely lipstick, but the more ballpoint end of it. And this is I'm hitting, as opposed to where the petal point was hitting the light areas, now I'm going to hit the dark areas. So I know like down here would be a dark area. <clears throat> Anywhere that there would be like a fold or down here, that would definitely be a dark area. <clears throat> like this. And I'm sure these little, ooh, whatever that's called, of a flower, <laughs> those would be a little darker. And this one I'm being a little bit more careful because it is quite a dark shade and I don't want it um, too, too loud. And then I'm going to take the dark lovely lipstick and this one I'm going to be even more careful with because I just, it's so dark compared to the, all the other pinks that I used. I just want, it's, I'm almost going like over the black, like making the black look a little pink. Like so. Maybe a little high, low light in there. And then I'm going to take my lovely lipstick marker again, the light one, and kind of force those colors to blend. Going right over them. As long as the markers are the, yeah, as long as the markers are wet, they'll kind of blend together. Do you see that? I'm not sure how well it comes through on your screen. Let me see on my computer. Can you see that well? Hopefully the box is helping. And then, I don't know. Then you can kind of go back and touch it up. So I see like this guy over here. I kind of forgot him. <laughs> and he's got a little, he's, he definitely would be darker because he's kind of tucked behind the other guys. And just add color where you see fit. You don't even necessarily have to blend but building color. Okay, how's that look? Can everybody see that? So I used three colors and um, you know, they're different pinks. They're not, they're completely different. So let me show you again. This is gonna be really close to you. Petal pink, flirty flamingo, totally different pinks. Both pink, this one's a little more like, like peachy. And then, and then like our lovely lipstick is more of a bright kind of fuchsia pink. So ones that maybe you wouldn't necessarily think to blend together, um, but they definitely give uh, gradients. Does the dark marker mark up the light marker, like bleed? Uh, does the dark marker mark up the light marker? Yeah, so if I were to go over the dark, the light areas with a dark marker, it would absolutely. So when I, I kind of put the light and then I kind of build out the dark and then I come back with a color to blend it all, I kind of pick a color kind of in the middle here. In this case, I picked actually this one, the light flirty flamingo to blend it all together. I'm not sure if that answers your question. The tip. You mean like when I did down here, like in these really dark areas? Um, Lori? Oh, thanks Teresa for sharing. Good evening. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely turns it a different color. But it's built on the lighter color, so it's still, um, it still like matches. It's still, it's not like, ooh, that's a whole, it, whole other different color. It actually, it looks good. I think it does. Except for this guy over here. I, for, I forgot to finish him. Like that. And you can always go darker. So like my suggestion would be to like start with your lighter hues. And then if you want a little darker, go a little darker. And then if you want a little darker, go a little darker. But it's really hard to go lighter once you've gone darker. <laughs> Um, yes, but the tip of marker is dark now. Oh, you're saying my markers. Does it turn my markers? Oh, 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 I, sorry. I totally misunderstood that. No, you're good. It won't. 
It doesn't bleed into the tip. It just blends the color if you get any staining just scribbled on the scrap paper. And comes. Yeah, exactly. So I totally misunderstood what you were saying, Lori. Amy just answered your question. Yes. So if I were to take this guy here and um, color him in, it shouldn't bleed onto my tip. But if it does, that's what your good paper is for. Just kind of like um, scribble a little bit and that color will come off. It's not like it'll permanently stain it or anything. I'm sorry. I totally misunderstood that. Thank you, Amy. Okay. And um, so I'm just going to show you my, my yellow card that I did. I did the same exact thing. This actually has three colors on it. So um, sometimes I know in the very beginning when you're trying to decide like what Stampin' Blends to buy, you're like, oh, I already have a yellow. I don't need another yellow. Or, oh, I don't have, I don't. I already have a pink, I don't need another pink. Well, sometimes it's nice to have multiple of a certain color, multiple pinks, multiple greens, multiple blues, because it really helps add the depth when you're coloring. So don't, um, you know, just write off certain colors, think that you already have it, because it is nice, again, to kind of add onto the colors. When um, I'm, oh, sorry, I forgot to do these little guys up here. <laughs> For these little guys up here, I used um, the dark petal pink, because they're so small, I couldn't necessarily add the amount of color that I had before. Um, light flirty flamingo, and then a hint of light lovely lipstick. And I used the ballpoint end of this this time just because it's such a small area I'm working in. And all I did was like kind of go a third of the way every time. So a third way down with this color. And then a third of the way down with the light um, flirty flamingo third of the way down whoops it's really hard to color upside down <laughs> actually you know what I want to go a little lower because I really want that guy in the bottom not to be too too much and then this guy this is did I get the light one or did I get the dark one no this is a light one this is a light lovely lipstick so definitely the most vibrant and brightest one of them all actually I think I'm going to come with my dark I didn't get the ballpoint. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> the brush is definitely much thicker than the the ballpoint. This is actually the dark, lovely lips. Um, now I'm getting tongue tied. The dark flirty flamingo. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my flirty flamingo again, the light one, and just blend those colors together. Make them all be one big happy family. Except for maybe the petal pink. I'm not necessarily going over the petal pink because if I did with the flirty flamingo, it would just turn a flirty, a flirty flamingo. I really uh, don't want that. And then just for the heck of it, I'm gonna take my dark, lovely lipstick and add a very, very <laughs> small, carefully done line on the bottom just to kind of accentuate it ever so slightly. Okay, how's that look? Any questions? Moving on to the, the leaves and the stems. Okay, so for this guy, for the leaves, I'm gonna do the same thing, uh, except using soft sea foam and granny apple green. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my um, light soft sea foam, the brush end, especially brush on this because there is just so much space to cover. <laughs> um, and I'm going to be very liberal about this because, first of all, I wanted the detail in the flower to really come through, so I was very careful about how I how I did it. I didn't, um, you know, I didn't just throw it on there like I'm doing with these leaves. Um, but second, because it's just leaves. Oh, uh, thanks, Karen. Now this is the dark sea foam. Again, um, kind of like thinking where the low lights on this would be like maybe where the shadow would be hitting. Like so. And I actually was gonna leave it like that, um, but I thought it needed just a little bit of something, something. So this is the light granny apple green. Where's my example? I wanna make sure, I like how I did it, so I wanna do it, okay. So I just kind of added color along here. And again, like you see that stark line, you're like, oh my goodness, what is she doing? There's a whole nother color, a line there. But once I come back and blend it, it's all going to nicely come together. The light granny apple green, I'm just hitting the tips of the leaves. 
And then maybe I'll put, I don't know, put a little bit there, a little bit there, and a little bit there, and a little bit there. Okay. And then I'm going to come with my light seafoam green again and go over it all. Just blend it all together. Very um, non-methodical. <laughs> Just make it all come together. Oh, I think I need my fine tip for this one because I... I kind of get it carried away and then I get outside the lines. Okay. Come around here like that, like that. These leaves, it's really hard to get too much detail in them because they're so small. Okay. And then, this is my dark sea foam. I just want to blend that a little bit. There we go. Now for the heck of it, I'm going to take my dark one and just ever so carefully, just add like a little bit extra color. I think I want a little bit just on the tips. Doot, doot. Now, I didn't realize this until today when I started coloring <laughs> that I don't have the Mossy Meadow. Uh, Stampin' Blends, if I did, I would probably add a little bit of, I probably would have used that. Maybe even instead of the Granny Apple Green. But I don't have it. I could not believe it. I went in, I could have sworn I've ordered it, but I don't. <laughs> so guess what's gonna be on my order next time? <laughs> I love Mossy Meadow, it's one of my favorite colors. Okay, there we go, those are our leaves. Ta-da! What do you think? Okay. And um, for the these little guys here, I don't know. I colored them in yellow. I'm kind of tempted just to put them in pink again because I'm just not a yellow person. To me, I see that. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Why did I color that yellow? <laughs> I'm so not a yellow person. Or purple, maybe. <clears throat> I have Highland Heather here. Maybe I'll do purple. What do you think? What should I do? What should I do? Maybe a little purple, or should I just keep them pink? Maybe I'll go hot pink. Let's do that. Should we do that? Um, let's color them in dark flirty flamingo. I'm just using the ballpoint end of it here, so because they're so small, like so. I'm not being too careful. <laughs> and then let's take our light oh okay terry said pink good that's what i went with <laughs> great minds think alike uh the light lovely lipstick and i'm just like putting literally dotting putting a dot in the center of them like that i like that better than the yellow i'm just not a yellow person i just i can't i try i really tried i tried in this card so hard where is it here i'm like i'll do yellow Yellow's good. I just can't get over it. It's yellow. <laughs> so I went with my, my favorite pink, petal pink, as uh, kind of the base to my coloring. <laughs> oh, thanks, Trudy. Appreciate it. Oh, thanks, Linda. Okay, so let me pull my box out underneath. I apologize. Don't get sick on here. Okay. Okay. Now, um, this is, let's see here. This is three and five eighths by, is that right? Three and five eighths by four and a half. I feel like I didn't cut this right. Oh no, I guess I did. And I'm matting it on, uh, oh, this is Whisper White, and I matted it on an ever so slightly bigger a uh, Whisper White matted it. I love to mat white on white. It's so pretty, makes it pop so nicely. Oh, hi, Lynn, good evening. I miss seeing you, Lynn. Hi, Michelle. Thank you, ladies. You're so generous. So, oh, look, I don't even have my adhesive out. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to mat this on, like I said, a one-eighth bigger Whisper White. Matting white on white. And I'm going to adhere that to a piece of a card front of Petal Pink. Oh, where's my... Guess what I can't find? Every week I can't find my bone boulder. I'll just use that block. 
gonna put that on the front now oh this one ladies if you notice it uses the um celebration organ or how do you pronounce that organdy organdy ribbon um it's back in stock while supplies last okay so if you've had your eye on this celebration ribbon and wanting to get it for free during celebration um you might know that it had been um back ordered and not even orderable for quite a little while for definitely for a few weeks well it's back um it comes in five colors and uh it still is while supplies last so i have a feeling it's not going to be around for too too much longer so if you want this ribbon make sure you place your order and uh, grab it during celebration um it comes in oh boy let's see if i can do this it comes in daffodil delight highland heather balmy blue lemon lime twist and grapefruit grove it's a five pack of free ribbon isn't that so pretty I love it. And Highland Heather, it's definitely um, a favorite of mine right now. I keep using it because it's so pretty over and over again. No, stop it. No, you're kidding me. Forget what I just said. When? <laughs> Amy says it's sold out already. You know what, ladies? I realize I adhere these down. I hear this down with um, Stampin' Dimensional, so I'm just going to rip it off. I'm a blends master. I don't know about that. I just really like using them. <laughs> I'm a blends master. I love them because, and I've said this before, so you're like, oh my goodness, she's repeating herself. But um, I'm not a huge, like, colorer. <laughs> um, so I just find it so e they're so much easier to use than, like, um, watercoloring. Like the um, aqua painter. I, I feel very intimidated by the aqua painter. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, no. Because I literally just made this card. I'm like, oh, I can use the organdy ribbon again. Oh, boy. Forget it. Act like I didn't say it. <laughs> okay. So we're almost there. Oh, I like those in pink better. Um, what else? So let's do the sentiment. Oh, I didn't even tell you where all this came from. Color <laughs> colorist, there you go. <laughs> I'm a colorist. <laughs> colorist specialist. Oh, that's a mouthful. Um, that big flower came from the All That You Are stamp set. It's like, right, it's the first page in the 2019 Occasions catalog, which, by the way, if for some reason you haven't received a catalog yet and are interested, um, definitely let me know. I have plenty here, and I'd love to get one into your hands or any of the catalogs, even if you don't have an annual catalog or, or whatever. I can definitely pop that in the mail for you. Let me know. So the big flower is this guy here. Um, it's the new cling on stamps, the cling stamp sets. And the sentiment that we're using is this thank you here. It says, thank you for all that you are and all that you do. Isn't that so nice? And it also says flowers bloom all for you. And then happy birthday. So really pretty, um, great to practice like coloring on uh, because there's definitely like big spaces and I don't think you can really mess it up, honestly. Okay, I gotta get our sentiment out. Look, I ha didn't even have time to put the, um, <laughs> the stickers on them yet okay I wanted to do this ahead of time but well you know it didn't happen so let me get my stamparatus again pull this guy off with ho hopefully getting memento on my fingers now okay this is what I realized about this stamp set the thank you stamp set it's really hard to get it straight so I'm not even gonna worry about it being straight. I'm just gonna put it on first. And then I'm gonna show you what I do. I gotta do this a couple, oops. I gotta do this a couple times because again, my memento black is dying. It needs to be re-inked re -inked desperately. Oh, thanks Joanna, I appreciate it. Desperately needs to be re-inked. I have it, <laughs> I just ran out of time. And I'm sorry, I think that moves your camera every time I do that. Um, how about one more? So it's nice and dark and vibrant on the soft sea foam. That's just a scrap piece of, piece of soft sea foam. Actually, it looks pretty straight. Maybe I won't do my trick. Or maybe I'll try, show you my trick anyways. Let's see how well this came out. Uh, it's not, it's not perfectly straight. Okay, I'm gonna show you my trick. If you're having trouble, 
I gotta get my cutter here. If you're having trouble stamping an image straight and it's all wonky, um, sometimes what I do is I just stamp it not straight. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I gotta move that. And what I do, ah, I don't know. Can you see? Okay, there we go. So what I do is I take this edge right there. It's a straight uh, line where the, the words are. And I put it against like this straight part of my cutter here. So I don't butt the cardstock up. Like normally you would put it here and cut it to make it straight. But I, I kind of making my own straight edge. So I put the words, I don't know, can I lift it up so you can see it? I put the words right at the edge of my little cutter there because it's straight. And then I cut. So that's my that's my straight edge there. Now I can use that on my cutter here. And then that's now a straight edge. And cut it again. So I'm basically creating my own straight edges. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to like, you know what, it's not working. So we're just going to make it work kind of thing. Uh, I need a Stamparatus. Yes, you do. I love my Stamparatus. It has saved me more times than I can count. <laughs> and it does really kind of cool, fun things. Oh, I cut it a lot shorter, smaller. Oh, wow. That's okay. <laughs> Oops. I didn't realize I left it really big. Um, And I need Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm all out. Time to open and Oh, look, I have some right here. I do that cutting all the time, too, after I stamp a cinnamon. Oh, yay, Lynn. Yay. <laughs> I just use a die and chop it out. I'm a lazy stamper. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, but you know, sometimes, like, if you want a square. Oh, I suppose now you can use the rectangles. Yeah, now you can use. See, now you have the rectangle frameless. Before, you didn't. If you wanted a rectangle image or, like, something cut out, you'd have to cut it rectangle. Um, and it's so funny. I always usually like tuck the sentiment to one of the sides, but I thought I'd go kind of center. I never go center with the sentiment, but why not? Today's the day. And then, oops, wrong thing. And then I just added a few pearls all around because pearls make everything better. <laughs> I think so. Because it softens the card, makes it even more feminine and fun. Mm, where do we want this guy? How about there? Nah, okay, he's down. <laughs> he's committed. That's where he's going, whether I like it or not. <laughs> yes, the rectangles. I use them a tremendous amount. Yes, I love them. <laughs> so glad they came out with them. Okay, ladies. So those are my tips on using multiple colors and multiple blends um, when coloring in an image. Um, if you have any questions, certainly let me know. I'm here to help and I'm by no means an expert. My suggestion, I guess, if you have the blends is to just get out something to color, get out your blends and just kind of play around. See what the colors do when you mix them a certain way or when you color them a certain way. Um, and just kind of play around a little bit. That would be my suggestion. Um, you like the one in the right vest? <laughs> I know I'm looking, I guess I colored this one a little bit darker than this one. See, even when you color them, same way, same method, same colors, you always get, I guess, a little bit different um, every single time. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's been a pleasure. Um, I will see you next week, a same time, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you are watching and you haven't yet left a comment and you would like a chance to win tonight's card, um, quickly just drop some sort of comment below because as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to pop all your names in a hat and pick a name for someone to win tonight's card. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next week, ladies. Have a great, great evening. Bye-bye.